Good morning, students. Uh, today, we meet again for our next Data Communication and Networking course. Thank you very much for your likes and subscribe to my channel. Hopefully, my videos will continue to benefit you throughout your studies. So, our topic for this week is our lab session 1.5.7, okay, under Data Communication and Networking. So, stay tuned, okay, up until the end of the video. Okay, before we start our demonstration for the lab session, so you can download, you can access the document for the lab session in your Google Classroom, which we have registered them for you. So under the first chapter, under the first module, which is working today, you can get the chapter here, you can get the lab sheets, okay, lab materials here, under the student lab material for module one. So inside here, you can view the material, okay, which is under the 1.57 packet tracer networking rep network representation. So you can just press this button and download your document immediately, like this. Okay, you can just download it immediately into your PC, and you can open them in your own packet tracer software you install your PC later on. Once you have finished, you can open your packet tracer file and uh, when you open, you will see this kind of uh, image in front of you, this kind of uh, topological structure in front of you. So this one is for the first lab, okay? So for the first lab, we have what we call uh, the task is for network representation. So you will see two windows when you open your, your lab file. Okay, the, the first window will be about your timer, which is, this one is a packet trace activity timer. And this one is the file where you can uh, see your, your co the content of your lab material, which is either a topological structure or something. Okay, in this case, we have a topological structure where you can, where you can uh, view or you can even design on your own later on uh, for your own network later. Uh, for your own network according to your design okay so today we are going to focus on uh, the network representation okay based on this so i will conduct this uh, a lab okay with you guys okay so let's start from the top which is the objective first so the objective of this lab lab material is that uh, the network model in this activity incorporates many of the technologies that you will master in your CCNA studies. It represents a simplified version of how a small to medium-sized business network will look, might look. So feel free to explore the network on your own. When you are ready, proceed through the following step and answer the question. So basically, they given you a topological structure of a network where you are free to analyze what are the components inside this structure okay so let's start step by step okay so the first one of the instruction step one identify okay uh, identify common components of a network as represented in packet tracer okay so uh, i miss the footnote here so it is not important that you understand everything you see and do in this activity feel free to explore the network on your own Okay, so you just need to click, click. If you didn't understand most of it yet, okay, just learn by clicking what are those, this component, okay? So it's not necessarily for you to need to understand immediately all these components. Let's go step by step. Okay, so let's go to a step once again. Okay, identify common components of a network as represented in Packet Tracer, okay? So at the bottom, you have this icon toolbar, okay? On the bottom left corner, Okay, uh, so where you can see a lot of networking components involved. Okay, so you should see categories that correspond to intermediary device, okay, which is the network device, and then you have the host and which is the net the end device, and also media. Okay, this one is the connection type. So this one components, this one is for other things that you can do with packet tracer. Okay, uh, for our course, we are not going to use that. 
Okay, we have a lot more things, okay, like for example, sensors, actuators, this one is particularly more related to Internet of Things technologies, which uh, in uh, which related to other courses, other than the communication network. Okay, so if you continue with our university later on, okay, uh, you might uh, you might discover that we have also other courses that related to uh, networking. Uh, more details, okay, regarding uh, even up until the Internet of Things, okay, uh, Internet of Things technology that provided later. Okay, so uh, let's take a look again. Okay, so here is your network device, which is the intermediary device. Here you have the end device, which is the the host, okay, the PC host or laptop something like that. And here you have the components, uh, the connections that are related to the media, which is either you are going to use the landline, or you're going to use the Wi-Fi, or you're going to use the one or LAN, or any console port or something. So, okay, only these three components are important for you to complete this course right now. Okay, so, so we have the connections which under the lightning bolt. Okay, and then we have the end device, okay, which is the PC, laptop, server, everything here. Okay, and then you have uh, the network integrated device. Other than that, you can even custom made your own components, which is under the custom made device or multi user connection. This is miscellaneous, is under custom made device, okay, multi user connection. So let's uh, list out the integrated device that you have here, okay. So what inside the topological okay inside the topological diagram that you have here okay uh, no not topological diagram yet is in the list of networking device what do you have in the intermediary device okay so you have routers which is these are the components of routers that are provided to you by Cisco okay all these routers simulator and you have switches okay and then you have hubs and then you have wireless device okay which all of this even about the cell phone tower and you have okay uh one emulation oh wait one emulation here oh okay and then here we also have security security is one of the latest one i haven't i uh, also haven't uh discovered this thing yet okay but you can try it by yourself later on okay so this is the one emulation okay so here we have okay this topology here that simulates the network using all these components so let's take a look at this component okay so here you see we have a question okay without entering into the internet cloud or internet cloud so you have internet cloud here and internet cloud which is under this one emulation okay so without entering the two clouds how oh, sorry Without entering the internet cloud or internet cloud, how many icons in the topological uh, in the topology represent endpoint device? How many of them representing endpoint device? Okay, let's count how many of uh, of the end device we have in this topology. So end device are actually the end of the network. So this one is called end device. One, two, three, four. Uh, no, this one is not. One, two, three, four. Okay. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you have 15 end device, okay, endpoint device in this topology. Okay, then without counting the two clouds in the middle, how many icons in the topology represent intermediary device? So other than these two clouds, calculate the number of intermediary device that you have in this topology so the intermediary device is the one that has connections okay so this one is the router one two three four five six seven eight have it already nine ten eleven okay uh, eleven so this one are what we call the intermediary device okay so this ip phone is not counted as intermediary device because they are not a network device they are part of the end device as well okay so you have 11 okay 11 intermediary device here okay i cannot anything here okay 
Okay, so next the question is how many end devices are not desktop computers? So how many end devices are not desktop computers? Okay, let's count. So we have home laptop. Okay, so lap laptop doesn't come as desktop. One, two, three, okay, four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you have eight end device and not desktop computers. Okay, so next we have okay, so let's take a look. Next one, how many different types of media connections okay are used in this network topology? Okay, so how many different network types of media connection are used in this network topology? So network media connection that we have here, okay, so they're representing the lines that are connecting all those devices. So let's take a look how many different types of connectors, okay? So what connectors do we have here? We have the black one is copper straight to connector, okay, which is the black lines. Then you have the red lines, which is under serial DTE connector, okay? So, and then we have the blue lines, which is under coaxial connection. So, you have one, two, three, or oh, did I miss something? Oh, yeah, here, I forgot to include the wireless as well. Okay, the wireless is included as one as well. Okay, so wireless, okay, uh, okay they are not included here. Okay, but it's also part of the connection as well. So, this one. It's a wireless connection, so they have four networks here, four network connections here. Okay, so let's go into step two. Okay, in packet tracer, only the server device can act as a server. Desktop and laptop PC cannot act as a server. Okay, so based on your study so far, explain the client server model. So when uh, I mentioned during the lecture, okay, so sometimes, okay, a server, okay, a host can be either a client or a server, or they can be both client and server at the same time, okay. So software installed on the host determines the role it plays on the network. Servers are hosts that have software installed that enables them to provide information and services like email or web pages to other hosts on the network. So clients are hosts that have software installed that enables them to request and display the information obtained from the server. So a client can also be configured as a server simply by installing the server software. So to differentiate between our client and server in the packet tracer, you cannot modify a home desktop into a server. You can just create a new central server or something, uh, okay, as a for purpose of a server. So in packet tracer, you cannot emulate uh, that a device can become a client or server both at the same time. Okay, so we have a special role: desktop as an end device, and also for server as their own server device. Okay, so next go towards the second question. List at least two functions of intermediary device. So what are the two functions of the intermediary device? So the first one, okay, is Regenerate and retransmit the data signals. Okay, when you send from end device to another end device, okay, the intermediate network device they work to regenerate and retransmit data signal once they are problem when you are sending the signals. Okay, they helps the send computer to regenerate and retransmit the data signals, and also they maintain information about what pathways exist through the network and the internet network. So they can conduct the sending faster because they remember which path is the optimal path for them to send the packets towards the destination as well. Okay, so they also notify other devices of errors and communication failures. Okay, and then they direct data along alternate pathway when there are a link failure, means they are redundancy, they help conduct redundancy where when one connection is uh, faulty, they can use another route to gain access to the destination as well. And they classify and direct messages according to the quality of service priorities. Okay, so and then lastly, they permit or deny the flow of data based on security testing. So they, uh, the question asks for two, but I answer 
with five four persons here okay so uh, okay so these are the functions of the intermediary devices okay let's go towards the C list at least two criteria for choosing a network media type so network media type is the connection okay so what are the criteria to choose when you are choosing for a network media so the network media can be chosen okay by the distance the media can successfully carry a signal or the environment in which the media is to be stored or the amount of data and the speed at which it must be transmitted and the cost of the media and installation as well okay so all of these points okay all of this point of uh, like for example uh, the distance the environment the amount of data speed and the cost media installations okay all of this influence what kind of what type of connection that we need to do uh, we need to use okay so this also sometimes influence what network device that we need to do uh, to 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 get as well okay so let's go towards the step three okay let's compare and contrast LANs and ones okay explain the difference between a LAN and a one so okay so what is the LAN and what is a one okay so LANs they provide access to end users in a small geographical area so this one example is a home office okay and this one is a, 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 a branch office okay and this one is a central office so these three boxes they representing a LAN okay small school campus or small business they are using a LAN okay so one provide access to user in a wide geographical area over long distance spanning a few miles or thousands of miles okay so once basically they are a, a, a long distance connection so here you see the red line okay and this coaxial cable they're representing okay the the one which is they are the internet they're representing a long uh, long cables okay long distance connection okay to access the internet or the, the internet as well okay so a metropolitan area network okay and the internet are some of the example of the of the one a company intranet okay if they are connecting to remote sites like here okay they are also considered as one as well okay uh, so this is where we have LAN and one and uh, those are the examples that i have just given okay so in this packet tracer network how many ones do you see okay so how many ones here we have two ones okay this is the first ones which is the connection to the internet and this is the second one which is the intranet okay so let's go to d now oh, wait uh, so let's uh, let answer this one first uh, how many lines do you see let's see uh, how many lines do you see so here we have three lines so we have this home office we have this branch office and then we have this center office okay uh, so we can easily understand it by the border that they are constructed here okay so okay we go to d the internet in this packet tracer network is overly simplified and does not represent the structure and form of the real internet so briefly describe what is the real internet actually so the internet is mostly used when we need to communicate with a resource or on another network okay so the internet is basically a global mesh of interconnected networks okay you have this network this kind of a lot of networks they are interconnected with each other they create the whole internet okay so we have a small network lan 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 connecting to each other and then suddenly it become a global connection network so this global connection, they be, they, this is what we call the internet. Okay. So what are some of the common ways a home user connects to the internet? Okay. What are common ways that we use to connect to the internet? So we have options like, for example, cable connection to the internet. We have DSL connection, dedicated line. Okay. And then we have a dial up connection, cellular or satellite. Okay. So these are. Uh, common ways to connect it to the internet 
Okay, so and then what are some common method that business use to connect to the internet in your area? Okay, so we have one of the common with the businesses are dedicated lease line. Okay, this is sometimes provided by the ISCP. Okay, DSL as well, like the home. Okay, we have a Metro E. Okay, so this one is also part of the internet, but we don't have those uh, in Malaysia. We have cable internet, okay, with fiber optic cables that you usually see the advertisement in the televisions. And also we have satellite based internet. So recently we we didn't see much satellite based connection to the internet because they are quite expensive. Okay. So hopefully Elon Musk will successfully start up his Starlink project so that everybody in the world can get the access uh, to the internet cheaply. Okay. So this is one of the technology in the future later on. Okay. So let's for you to finish your uh, lab for today. So you can try to answer these challenge questions that I've provided here, okay? Uh, so like for example, you can add an end device topology and see what happened, okay? Add an intermediary device and also see what happened, okay? Uh, and then open a new packet tracer, create a new network like this, okay? You can create a new network like this, okay? By clicking this new button and you can build your own network later on okay keep experimenting with this picket tracer because once you experiment you get used to it you will have no problem in designing your own network later on okay so that's all for today so hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video as well so okay so hopefully all the best to you in your studies Stay safe, stay at home, and stay steady. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.